New York, a city known for rents as high as its skyscrapers, is looking at new ways to provide affordable housing. The latest idea, micro-apartments. The My Micro New York pilot project in the Kipps Bay area of Manhattan will see construction of a nine-storey building of 55 prefabricated units start in June. The 24 to 34 square metre apartments being built in Brooklyn come complete with three metre high ceilings, kitchenette, shower room, storage and a balcony. It's hoped the new style of apartment will help fill a growing hole in the city's housing supply. The people who need this kind of apartment right now, they're making do in other ways. Uh, they're putting doors on bedrooms and turning a one bedroom into a two person living situation. They're putting bunk beds in room, they're partitioning rooms, they're making legal and illegal changes to the existing apartments that are out there. One of the biggest obstacles to smaller affordable housing has been the Big Apple's strict zoning rules. Designed to help the traditional nuclear family, construction of housing units smaller than 37 square metres was banned in much of the city in 1987. However, with demographics changing drastically since then, a third of all households are now New Yorkers living alone, officials are having to consider new regulations. If you look at how people are really living, and you add that to the fact that there's so many people arriving, and there's a limit to what you can really do with the confines of the city, then you have to think of new ways to use space on the inside of buildings. So um, the idea of, of um, shrinking a unit and increasing the density of buildings would accommodate more population, but it would also accommodate how people are really living. When the New York City government started this pilot, they got more industry responses than any other project in the history of the housing department. However, it's not the first city to try this approach. New York is actually a little bit behind when it comes to small unit building. All over America, Seattle, San Francisco, Boston, Washington, DC, they all have what we would call micro units uh, in construction already built with people living in them. New York's population is set to grow by around a million people in the next 25 years and with no space to expand outwards it's hoped that projects like this will encourage lawmakers to allow further expansion inwards. <laughs>